And with that, we are done. So we put plus C and box the answer. In fact, we just need to do some geometry to figure this out. Believe it or not, I will show you. However, before I start, I just want to say thanks to Skifire and Fred because they were the one who pointed out this right here in the previous video. They left the comments. And for the people who are taking Cal 2, maybe you guys can also do this on your Cal 2 exams to impress your Cal 2 teachers. That would be so cool. Here we go. First of all, notice that this right here is an indefinite integral. So that means, in the end, the answer will be an expression in terms of x, and you put a plus c, that will be the answer, okay? Keep that in mind. First, I would actually like to look at this as a definite integral, and this is how we can do it. So let me write this down as the integral. However, I cannot put down a number to a number, because if you know, when you have a number to a number of the integral, when you have a definite integral, well, the answer will be just a number. If this is a number, that's also a number. I want to end up with an expression in terms of x, and this is how we can do it. I will just put x right here. And then for this right here, you can put whatever you want, any number, but you cannot put another x, okay? And I will just pick the easiest, of course, would be 0, and you'll see why. And let me just write down the rest for you guys. And because I used x right here already, right here and here, inside the integrand, I cannot use x anymore. And let me just use another letter, I will say t. So we have 9 minus t squared dt. So let me explain this real quick. The idea is that you can just forget about this for now. Suppose this is the question that you have to do. Of course, you integrate square root of 9 minus t squared, which, whichever way that you want. Integrate that, that will be an expression in terms of t, but you have to plug in x and then subtract, you plug in 0, right? And when you plug in x into that expression, in the end, you get an expression in terms of x. That's really good. And of course, this number has to be legitimate. You don't want to pick a number that's bigger than 3, otherwise you get into a complex world that's no good. But you can put 1 if you would like, but 0 will be easier, you'll see why. And especially, we'll be adding a c at the end, so you really don't need to worry about the number here. However, I'll just put 0. So, this is the prep work. Now, here we go. Because we have a definite integral now, we can interpret this as the area under this curve from 0 to x. And this right here, as we all know, is just the semicircle with radius 3. So, let me just draw that right here for you guys. First, notice I labeled this with t because we are using t right here. And now, Remember, this integral is calculating the area from 0 to x. Well, where's x in our picture? Just to make this geometric whole argument work, I will just say x is some number in between of 0 to 3, right? And of course, for this integral, you can go from 0 to negative 1 if you would like, but seriously, I just want to make this argument to work. So I will just say we go from 0, and let me just label the x to be right here. And for that, being said, we know we have to calculate the area from here to here. And x, once again, is our variable. And now we just have to figure out an expression for this area. And in fact, we don't need to use calculus because we can first draw a line from here to here. And as you can see, we make a right triangle right away. And then for this portion, it's just the area of a sector, area of a slice of pizza. But anyway, let's focus on the area of a triangle first. So for this triangle, as we all know, the base right here, you go from 0 to x. So it will be just x. And then the height is just going to be from here to here, and that's the y value. And you will have to plug in this t value, which is x, into this t to get the y value. So we get square root of 9 minus x squared. We need to have this triangle, which is 1 half times base times height. The base is x. And the height is this, so I will just put down square root of 9 minus x squared. And I think a lot of you guys recognize this part already, don't you? Cool, huh? Now, we are going to add the other part, which is, again, the area of this part, namely the area of this slice of pizza. Well, how do we find the area of a uh, slice of pizza? Don't worry, I'll put this down right here for you guys. Uh -huh. And this angle here has to be in radians. 
And yes, I do have a video on the proof of this, so you guys can watch that. But let's go ahead and continue right here. As we can see, this right here, the radius is just 3. You go from here to here. So I will just put down 1 half times r is 3, so we have 3 squared, like this. And then I now have to figure out the, uh, the, the angle theta. Well, let me just put down the angle right here. I need to figure out theta in terms of x. Don't forget, we still have to do this in terms of x. Well, this right here is x. If you just copy this right here, this horizontal distance will still be x, isn't it? Yes, it is. And when you do that, in fact, you make a right triangle in blue from here to here, and then again here. By looking at this right triangle, the angle is here. This will be the opposite side, and this right here is the hypotenuse, hypotenuse which is, you know, sine theta will be the opposite over hypotenuse, which is 3. In another word, x over 3. But you don't want sine theta, you just want theta. So you take the inverse sine of both sides, and you multiply by right here. So you have the inverse sine of x over 3. And in fact, we are done. Put plus c. Of course, you can clean this up a little bit. 3 squared is 9. You don't need to use calculus to do this calculus 2 integral. Very cool. And I think this right here is really, really cool. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And if you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. Thank you guys so much. And as, and as always, that's it.